good afternoon with Smoky Mountain Chickens. How is everybody doing today? So it is a cool day in East Tennessee. It feels like early, early spring, like in the 60s and kind of a chilly wind. I think it's gonna be, I, I think it's gonna warm up to about 80 on Sunday though. So temperatures are gonna rebound. But I did see again, maybe next week some 60s. So I don't know what's going on with this crazy weather. Um, got my tomatoes that we're hoping to put out in the garden this Saturday, along with a few more things that we didn't have enough of that I went and got. And my sunflowers are coming up. Look at the chickens, they're following me while I'm doing a video. It's quite hilarious. Let me see if I can find, oh yeah. So look, I knew it was a sunflower because it had its little seed on top of it. So I've got quite a few of them coming up through here. What are y'all doing? Y'all just had to come down here and be nosy. Nosy chickens. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in my nursery and check everybody. So I've put something else in here that I've come up with, an idea to keep the new mamas in while they're hatching, just so when they hatch, the babies don't venture off and get kind of lost in the nursery because it is big and there's other mamas in there. And when they're first born, they might get a little confused and that actually did happen one morning. So I'm trying to remedy that. And with farm animals, chickens and raising animals, it's kind of like a trial and error. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you just kind of find different resources and see what works and some things work and some things don't. So I bought some shelving and I thought, okay, I'm gonna make a little fenced in area and I can hang, maybe my water's on it, that's what I'm gonna do. And maybe some feeders, hook them to it somehow. Um, I was gonna go with like a little playpen, like the ones you can, like the wire ones that you can put like a little puppy in or something, but the wire was so wide that the chicks would get through it and I thought, well, I'd have to wrap it in something else. So I found this, cause I, I sometimes just walk around Lowe's and I look at things and I'm like, well, what could I use this for? I do that all the time. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So this had small wire that the chicks would not go through and I've actually got a broody in there. So with that one, I gave her some eggs along with that mama right there. Well, I didn't put enough eggs underneath them and hers did not hatch for whatever reason. Hers did, so I gave her a chick and her a chick, and the, uh, her chick ended up going back with her, so she is remaining broody. I don't actually think she was quite ready to hatch anyways I, because she hasn't been in here very long, so I think she needs to have a really good week of setting before I try it again. So she'll probably be the next mama to hatch next week. She's got... Um, a fake egg underneath her, but I'm gonna put some real ones under there, but at least I gave her something to set on and kinda getting that broody trance going really good and then hopefully we'll have more success next week. I'll try it again. And I have another broody right here, a moody broody. <laughs> so she was all puffed out next door and not, every time I go near her, she's like making this crazy noise and you know, her wings were going out and I was like, no. Nah. You can't stay over there, so you're coming over here. So she's gonna join this club in here for a few days, and normally I'll watch them. Sometimes they change their mind and they wanna go back. So I don't know what she's gonna do. I'm not sure yet. She's not sat down and like made a spot, so she's like 50-50 on the fence. <laughs> okay, so I think I have my little newborn pod done. And this is gonna be a trial and run situation, see if it works. Um, I'm gonna do it for just the moms that are hatching out for the first week. I'm gonna put them in here. That way babies can't get lost and try to go to another mom who's further along with her chicks because obviously they're up a lot more and sometimes away from the mom and they're not sitting as much as they are. So this is where I'm gonna hatch out in here and then when they're up and move around with their chicks, I'll open it up and let them out, let new moms come back in so this is just zip tied. I had them actually cut it at Lowe's. It was a 12 foot piece that I cut, that they cut for me in four pieces. 
And it's got the old lip on the top, so I guess I could cover it if I needed to. But the chicks can't get out because it's, it's tiny. So Miss Blondie is in here with her littles. And then I have Miss Dottie in here who is sitting on an egg. I'm gonna give her some more. And I got some little feeders in here. Actually hooked to the wire. Got another water. So everybody's doing good. And she's got some littles under her. Somewhere. Oh, there's one. She's got another one under there. So I'm definitely gonna see if this works. Hopefully it will, and we won't have any more babies kinda wander off, especially right after they're born. That worries me. Let's go check eggs and feed the yard chickens. They're enjoying the weather today. It is nice. Yeah, she was right here. Mm -mm -mm. No, we're not playing that game. Is that fake? No, that's not fake. Okay, three eggs so far. Oh wait, there's one in there that didn't roll. Sometimes they get stuck on the shavings or a feather or something. They try to make nests out of this stuff right here. And feathers. Six eggs. I don't think they're gonna fit in the pocket. So we're gonna put them on the windowsill until I can find a bucket. Look at them out in the yard. All right, it's treat time. Oh, they've already seen me with the bucket. They've already seen me with the scratch. Here they come. Not even gonna be able to get the door open. Yeah, they behaved. Now y'all gonna have to let me walk here. Oh my. Blueberries right by my foot. Get set up here, but I want to see you guys. Mr. Clark, isn't he such a pretty orange color? I just love his color. He's gorgeous. So is he. They're all gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. Hello there, Bernice. Hello there, Miss Freckles. Your sister's broody. Miss Broody Patootie. everybody's good everybody's good so we just got to continue to watch my nursery crew and see how that works out in there for them I think it's gonna be better than what I had and here are some of my cuties that were born on Wednesday two days old and quite adorable They're all doing good and we are located in Blount County Tennessee if you guys are interested in any of these little chicks I have more coming on Wednesday oh my goodness so I will keep you guys updated all right hope you guys stay tuned for more updates and I'll see you guys on the next vlog